Take me, take me to the, take me to the king. Yes, yes, yes. Because I know that because I've been to the king, I'm going to make it because of him. And the only way that I can tell you that you're going to make it is because I know that I'm making it because of him. Amen. When you know that it's not you that's that, that the reason that you are you are making it, now you can inspire somebody else to make it through you to get Amen. to him. That's right. I need you right now. I need you to step into a place and come out of God. But Paul said he, he entered into a place where, where he didn't know if he was in the, in the, in the, in the heavens or uh, here or there. But I need you to come out of yourself right now. Uh, in order to come out of yourself, I want you to, I want you to forget, forget what you know, for, for, forget the things that you've been taught today. Because I, I need you to know that, 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 that no matter what, somebody said, no matter what. No matter what. Oh, y'all didn't say that, Paxton. I said that with Paxton. No matter what. Still his. Still Amen. We thank you, Lord, for taking us out of ourselves. Amen. Normally, I say, let me decrease so that you can increase. Hallelujah. Right now, I say, let us decrease Amen. so you can become all to all. Amen. We thank you for all things in Jesus' holy name. Amen. 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 Praise Amen. the Lord. Um, I am. I am still his. I am still. He is. I, once again, I want to. I cannot. I cannot stand up here and not acknowledge Pastor Livingston and Pastor VJ. They are the pastors of Zion Temple Church in India. And, and it, it, it was not about me. Not about me preaching in India. It was about me being invited to preach. Amen. You, you know, you. you know, I, I teach all over the world every day, but. But that, that's because I go, but this time I was I, I was asked to come. You gotta understand when you when you follow, that means you're following Jesus. But when somebody invites you, Amen. it's the beckon of God. Come on, somebody. Yes. When it says come, that means God is talking, not Jesus. Amen? Amen. Jesus will tell you to follow him, but uh, God says, I have an invitation for you. Amen. Praise the Lord. We thank God for you. And he reminded me through Zion Temple that I am still he is because sometimes you'll look around and you'll, you'll, you'll look at people that you expect to remind you that they, 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 their presence won't will tell you that make you think that you're not Amen. the words that's coming out of their mouth might make you think you're not he is Amen. and even the circumstances that God allowed in your life will make you think you're not he is but, but I come to remind you today that you are Still his. And then and Pastor said something this morning. See, you gotta learn how to love yourself. See, but I cannot love myself where God say, What's the second commandment? Anybody know what the second commandment is? Love, others. love others. What? As you love yourself. As you love yourself. He said, so the evidence of you loving yourself is that you love others, but you can never get to love others. See, because see, well, what are you saying, Bishop? I can't love myself and know myself. I got to love the one that chose me, and when I love him, no, I now I know how to live outside. I know how to live, how to learn how to live out, love outside of myself. But first, in order to learn to learn, learn to love outside of myself, I got to learn love itself. Then that's God. And once I learn love itself, now no longer am I concerned about myself. Y'all better hear all. Don't ask me to say this no more, man. Once, 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 once I once I learn to love love. It's I don't worry about me. And now, now, so now I do what I do with what love was called to be done with, and that is to pass it on, take it, give it away, and 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 and. and but we 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 are we are selfish. Right. As Pastor taught me once in a sermon, when I should be selfless, yeah. uh, I should be less concerned about my self. self. No, but, but it's all about the ish. The ish. How do you like my ish today? It's about the ish. Oh, I can tell you something. I can, I can tear that up right there. I can tear that up right there. Your ish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to leave that alone. Because bitch might tell you, your ish ain't nothing but 
throw a T in there, throw the words, and scramble, scramble the letters, unscramble the letters. And, you, and that'll tell you what your issue is to, to somebody who is in trouble. I'm not concerned about your selfishness. I'm not concerned about how well you know God. I'm not concerned about what God has done for you when I'm in trouble. I'm not concerned. Let me read the, the pastor. Would you, I gave you a mic. Would you please read that scripture for me? It's going to be coming from the book of Isaiah. I mean, if I had to, if I had to talk to choose um, three books in the Bible as my favorite, this would be in my top three. Brother Isaiah operated as if Brother Isaiah operated as if um, he was living in the right now with Jesus. And he was living, and this is so amazing, Pastor. Brother Isaiah was living 450 some odd years before Jesus, but he, he spoke as if he was in the right now with Jesus. And here we are living 2,000 years after Jesus, and we can't speak, uh, when we can't live in the right now, knowing that he is. We got evidence that he is. He only had evidence of the Spirit. We have evidence of the Spirit, and the Spirit lived, the Spirit died appeared to die to us, but it yet lived. And, and, and Jesus, Jesus told us when, when they said, um, um, Lazarus is dead, and Jesus told us, he said he's not really dead, he's only a... So Jesus went into a sleep that God put him in. So, so your brother-in-law, um, 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 Lady Moore, he's in one of those deep sleeps. See, see y'all gotta understand when 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 God pulled when God pulled Eve out of Adam, he put Adam in a sleep that he could not conceive what was going on, and we ended up with Eve. So now when God says, I get ready to pull your spirit out of you, I have to put you in a sleep that you cannot conceive. So your brother is nothing but in a deep sleep, so God can perform spiritual surgery and pull the spirit in which he is out of him. Praise the Lord. Amen. We're going to be studying coming from the book of Isaiah, chapter 44, verses 1 through 5. As I, as I, no, nobody reads like Pastor Lisa. Uh, when I tell you that, you know, when I, when I wake up in the morning, I say, Lord, give me to read this like Pastor Lisa. <laughs> read for me, Pastor. But now, listen to me, Jacob, my servant, Israel, my chosen one. The Lord who made you and helps you says, do not be afraid. O Jacob, my servant, O dear Israel, my chosen one, for I will pour out water to quench your thirst and to irrigate your patched fields, your parched fields, and I will pour out my spirit on your descendants and my blessings on their children. They will thrive like watered grass, like willows on a riverbank. Some will proudly claim, I belong to the Lord. Others will say, I am a descendant of Jacob. Some will write the Lord's name on their hands and will take the name of Israel as their own. And when you hear that, you should understand you're going to make it Amen. because of him. I want you to say, but, and see, this is where we, we, we miss the whole journey. And, and we get so concerned about the journey because we don't do what he says in verse 1. Pastor, what did he say in verse 1? What did, what did he say? The, but now listen but, to me. But, 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 but now what? Listen to me. But now listen. Turn number 2 down a little bit. But now, listen to me. But now, brethren, but now, listen to me. No matter what goes on, but now. Times are good. I don't want to hear nothing God got to say. All I want to do is brag about my blessings. Times get bad. Now I, want to, I really don't want to hear nothing about, about, about what God got to say because I know it ain't God no more. It's the devil that's did it. But God say, whether it's good or bad, but now listen. No matter what it is, listen for God in the right. Oh, y'all, we're going to be here a while. Y'all don't want to hear me preach? We're going to be here a while. Don't worry about it. I, 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 
ain't preaching three Sundays anyway, so y'all, I, I, if I got to preach two hours a day, I ain't going to be mad. And that, don't, hey, don't, don't, don't yeah. say that. So, so y'all, y'all, uh, no, 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 no. He said, so, 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 so he says, uh, I want you to listen to me right now. Yeah, I know y'all want to go home early. I, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. But, 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 but listen to me right now. We always say, but God. Oh, Lord, I, I was going through, but God. I, 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 thought, I thought I was going to lose this, but God. But God. Why did he say, but God? But God is here for you to listen right now. Amen. So you give him the but God, but you won't listen. You give him the glory, but, but you don't understand why, how the glory is supposed to work through you. Not just to acknowledge him, but to display him. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And I, as I hear this right now, it takes me into a place of, 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 of looking at, at my journey. And, and when I look at my journey, I miss God. Amen. See, the most times when, when I look at my journey, I got to reference where I came from. It's all right to reference where you came from, but you cannot live in the yesterday, in the right now, when God is living with you. Uh, we, we, some things were happening and some changes. Of, uh, what, 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 what did I say? I'm cooking some of the song that, 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 yeah. How that song start? How that song start? How that song start? How that song start? I've been born by the river. I was born by the river. In a little tent. Just like that river. I've been running ever since. But that's because you're running from a right now voice of a living God. You're running from a right now voice of a living God. My troubles are upon me. I don't, I cannot see, I cannot handle this. And the only way that you're going to handle what was written in your life, even before you were conceived, is go to the altar. Amen. Amen. Of your life. God knew in 2018 what was going to go on with me. He knew in 2005 that I was going to go to prison. He knew that in, 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 2000, in, in, in 1979 I was going to graduate from college. He knew that one day there was going to be a little boy in the church that was going to be my godson to my, to my daughter. They're always going to want a microphone. What's his name? What's his name? Papa Joe to the rescue. Papa Troll. Papa Troll to the rescue. <laughs> I'm to the rescue But I come to tell you You have Been a re, 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 But now listen to me Jacob say your name now, But now listen to me say your name Israel my servant Now read pastor Now they acknowledge who they are Israel my chosen one the You right now You have Been Chosen. Why did God choose me? You were different. <laughs> did she really? Did she really hit my sermon with an answer? Did you really think she's gonna be in your class tomorrow? You trying to teach? Is she gonna answer my sermon? What's she gonna do to your class? <laughs> you all right? You all right? We learn, man. We never. I ain't mad at you. I really. Ain't. You need a husband. Come, come, come. You need a husband. You need a husband. <laughs> Come, 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 come. You need a hug. Let me give you a hug. You need a hug. You all right? That's a link. No, no, you ain't been to church in a long time. That's all. <laughs> Shit. Because when we come to church on the record, we know this is a sermon. Okay. Not a class. Okay, I'm sorry. You okay? But the bottom line, you're here. We're thankful for that. Give our hand, everybody. Give our hand. But you were chosen. Why was I chosen? Why was I chosen to go through what I've been through? Why was I chosen to, to, to adhere tough times? Why was I chosen to have things happen in my life that I didn't want to, to happen in my life? To see if God was really my choice. Amen. All right. All right. I was chosen to go through what I went through by God to see if I had really chosen Him. As long as as long as things are good, it's easy for me, it's easy for me to choose God. Yes. As long as God puts bacon in the frying pan and I got a little egg on, 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 on that come with that bacon in the omelet, yeah, 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 it's easy for me. Yeah. 
for me to choose God. All right. But when I'm hungry and, and, and my stomach, my stomach's talking to my talking to my talking to my back, y'all know you might be like up in that kind of hungry when you, you y'all don't know hungry until your stomach talks to your back. Hallelujah. And you dry mouth. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. When you make it, you you you, 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 you so, so when you, when you, <laughs> see me and Dad was in college and our stomach started talking to our back when we was in college, we go sleep. <laughs> we didn't know to call on God, we just knew to call on sleep to the cause you can't you can't be hungry and sleep at the same time. So we had to choose sleep or hunger, so we say we can't, we can't, we can't do nothing about the hunger, so we choose sleep. <laughs> but today I come to tell you, God chose you, so He says when times get tough and, and, and you start talking to your back, uh, He said at that time when you deny me, when you go steal uh, from your brother, my Lord, my Lord. will you give up your soul? And Jacob's brother did. Mm. Will you give it up? To fulfill that hunger. Oh, how do we bury our spirit by fulfilling the hunger of the flesh? We bury our spirit, man, by fulfilling the hunger of the flesh. When the, when, when God says, "I allow the flesh to be hungry," so the so the so the spirit man can rise above it and let you know that I will give you something that you will never hunger or thirst ever again. Read, Pastor. The Lord who made you and helps you says, do not be afraid. Do not be scared. Amen. Yeah, do not be scared. And, and, and I had a friend, I mean, you know God has, uh, works in mysterious ways. I had a friend that had been in prison two times. We were best friends. And he told me, he said, he said Maurice, you don't want to go to prison. You can't handle prison. You can't handle prison. You can't handle prison. In my own right, no kind of way, I position myself to go to prison to show him I can. You crazy son of a gun. <laughs> but he always, so he felt like there was something in my life that I was afraid of, and God sent me to prison to show him there was nothing in my life that I can't get through because of him. There's nothing in your life. When people tell you that you can't do something, you can't do something, and then if, if, if you believe it a little bit, God's gonna have to put it in your life to show you that you can. Amen. He's gonna put it there to show you that you can. Mm -hmm. So as I hear this, read that again, Pastor. Don't be afraid. Don't, Don't be scared. Afraid. Don't be scared. Because you don't, why don't, why don't, why do you, one thing you don't want to be, you want to be afraid of nothing but the Lord, uh -huh. Amen. and you don't want to make nobody afraid of you. That's right. Amen. Why don't you want to make anyone afraid of you? And because if I make you afraid of me, now God wants to send somebody my way to show me what you felt like. If I make you afraid of me, God's going to have to send somebody my way to show me what I made you. Y'all yeah, right. yeah. yeah. better listen to this. Amen. He says, don't be scared and don't you make nobody scared. In other words, you, you show them that you know God, not some of the time, but all the time. Yeah, y'all ready to go home. Y'all getting good. Y'all getting good. Talk to me, Pastor. Oh, dear Israel. Oh, dear Israel. Now, watch this. My chosen. Wait, wait. Oh, Dear Israel, it sounds like the country. But what he's saying is, he's talking to those that, oh dear, those that is real. Amen. I'm talking to you. Amen. I ain't talking to those that is fake. Amen. I'm talking to those that is what? Real. real. I chose you because you are real about my business. In other words, it don't matter what I need. You you love me and you give me what I need. When you love somebody, you don't ask them why. You just say what you want, baby. Amen. Amen. I want to get to a place in God that I don't ask God why. I say, Father, I'll go. What do you want? You need something that you can't find nobody to do with? Here I am, Lord. Amen. I surrender, Lord. 
Lord, because I, I, I know I know right now I, I, I cannot fail because I'm created in the image of an unfailure. Amen. I, I know I cannot lose because I'm created in the image of the victorious one. I, I know that, 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 that the Lord, so I, I'm living in the confidence of who I am looking like you because you told me that, 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 that to, I'm one of those leaders that, that, that you, have, you have called out and you said, I am yet a God in your image. Read to me, Pastor. For I will pour out water to quench your thirst. Oh, God. Oh, God. How many people have ever been broke? I have. I'm going to tell you something. A broke person don't eat. If his flesh don't eat, it dies. No, none of y'all look dead to me. <laughs> so, the way that tells me you ain't never been broke. Oh. You've been without for a season. Yes. But never broke. Tell somebody. Amen. See, see, if you were broken, you were broken by God because when God heals you, he makes you stronger than you were in the beginning. So God says, I purposely allowed this broken spirit, a, a, a spirit of feeling that there was without. Anybody ever had a toothache? Yes. Yeah. Huh? Yes. I think toothache the worst kind of pain it is. What you say? Yes. Power. And while you're in the midst of a toothache, don't the devil always tell you it's going to be like this the rest of your life. <laughs> it ain't going to never go away. You know what I mean? Am I the only one? Am I the only one? You know you got real pain when, when the devil convinced you. And we're going to be here from now on. This is how you're going to live the rest of your days. I hate that. And you believe it too. And see, when you start believing that, the pain gets worse. Mm -hmm. Where there is doubt mm -hmm. and no faith, Amen. the devil has his way. Come on, somebody. Where there is doubt and no faith, the devil has his way. This. You, you, you know, I, I'm in a place where I, I really don't want to be, but, but I'm here. So now how do I deal with being where I am? I must hear what God says. Every time I go, we go feed the homeless. God said, I didn't come out here to fill y'all better. I didn't come out here to preach you happy. I didn't come out here to free you. I came out here to remind you that God ain't forgot you. Amen. I come here every Sunday to remind you that God ain't forgot you. But, but but we don't understand, and we, we get caught up, and, and, and we, we miss our blessing because God said, He said, bless the bless. Amen. Yes. In other words, He said, bless the reminder. Amen. We take the reminder, don't need no reminder. Amen. But God said, when you understand how blessed you are, you uh, that you will bless the reminder. Uh -huh. Yes. Because the reminder got to go through double because He saved you and Him. Amen. She got to go through more because she, she she took you out of the grasp of Satan. Amen. So now Satan, y'all even realize it, somebody in this church has back pain. I don't know who it is. And every time they leave this church, they feel better because I know because I get in the car, my back go to aching. Look at he on that said, yeah, bitch, yeah, you talking about me? I know it. Is. I know. <laughs> so 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 bless. The reminder, read, Pastor. And to irrigate your parched fields. I am going to make it all right all the time. Amen. How many all the times have you had where you doubted that it was going to ever be all right, but it became all right even when you didn't think it was going to be all right? God said, how many times? How long must I be with you? How many times I got to put you through to remind you that this too shall pass? How many times I gotta put you through to when you when you when you see it coming, you say, all right, now I know God is coming. You want my attention, you want to teach me something. Uh -huh. So I love pain, I love suffering, I invite pain, I find joy in pain, I find joy in suffering, because that's when I'm the closest to God. Amen. Amen. And I love, I don't know about you, but I love being close to God. So when pain comes, I, I find joy. When pain comes, when the suffering comes, I, I don't get I don't agonize over it. I said, Lord, what well, give me a Dr. Pepper and some popcorn for now. It's time to watch God work. Amen. I, But, but I'm trying to tell you, I'm not mad at God anymore. Come on, 
No longer am I mad at God. Because he ain't going to quench my thirst some of the time. He told, he told the woman at the well, he said, I, I have a water that you will never thirst again. Yes. And she wasn't even hungry. She didn't go there to get food. But God said, I'll just throw in some food to make sure you never hunger nor thirst All right. ever again. Yeah. Read to me, Pastor. And I will pour out my spirit on your descendants. Oh, my God. Here it is. I am blessed today. Because my mama made me go to church. I am blessed today. Because I got to know God through my family. My mama and my grandmama and my aunties, they poured into me. God. The same way, this is what's going on in this generation. This is why we have uh, our crime rate is up. This is why our death rate is up. This is why young kids don't care about living or dying. It's because we're not pouring into them what our elders poured into us. Amen. Amen. Our elders made us go to church whether we wanted to go or not. Amen. Hello, somebody. Yeah. And, and now we let them go if they want to. So the bottom line is, when, they, when they're not being poured into, guess what? Now we, 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 we put a gap between them and God because now we have a trench where there's nobody there that knows God. And when there's a trench, that means everything on the other side of that trench will not get to know God either. Amen. Your parents did not count it robbery to pour God into you. You need to make it a point, not just your children, your neighbor's children. Yes. Amen. Hey, can, 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 can your kid go to church with me today? There was a lot of times when we were kids, especially right there, she went to church a whole lot of times, me, me and my wife didn't go. Good thing she did, because we didn't live in the day, because she went. Amen. But she went because we poured into her, and she realized the value of God at an early age when we didn't in, in, uh, realize the value of God at our older age. So God made her a pastor of a parent, so quite naturally she was going to become a pastor of a church. Amen. So as I, as I say this today, God said, I will quench your thirst. But when I quench your thirst, you got me something to drink? Don't worry about it. But when I quench your thirst, you're drinking something. I'm pouring into you for you to make sure nobody else is thirsty. For you to make sure that nobody else thinks they're without God. I'm pouring into you for you to make sure that no one else is thirsty. And you know what kills me? Most church folk in church, we ain't thirsty. But we the ones we want to force to drink. I got an overflow. I got to give it to somebody. Let's get, give it to the church member. The church member overflowing too. Amen. There's some out there thirsting for the spirit of God. Yes. There's some out there thirsting for a love that they don't understand. There's some out there thirsting for forgiveness they've never seen. There's some out there uh, thirsting for forbearance that they don't think is real. Hello, somebody. Yes. There is somebody. Oh, they're going to pull into me. Pull into me. I need, I need some porn right now because they know y'all porn in me. <coughs> Refresh it. Read, Pastor. And my blessings on your children. Why? So my he said my blessings are on your children when you pour into unexpected places. Amen. Amen. Where's the place God wants me to pour into? The place where I don't want to. If I want to pour into you, I think you are deserving of it. Amen. Was I deserving of God? Blessing? No, I was not. But yet he poured into me. Amen. Yes. He said, when I, I want you to pour where you don't want to pour. I want you to pour where you want to hate. I want you to pour where you want to get mad. I want you to pour where you want to spit on somebody rather than pour the love of God in you. All right, all right. He said, that's the place where you do ministry. Yes, yes. That's where I want you to go. Uh -huh. so, I, so I ain't nothing for the, for the past 11 years. I have been nothing but an opportunity for you to spit on me or pour into me. All right. All right, All right man. And God said, if you can't pour into your pastor, you spit on him, you're going to spit on everybody else that's in your way. Yeah. 
They want to grow. They want to grow. But instead of giving them fertilizer, you're giving them weed, weed food. Instead of giving them fertilizer, something's going to get rid of the weeds, you, you're giving them what they expect, more weed. Amen. Then you wonder why you got a yard full of weeds, because you ain't fertilizing, you put more weeds in it. I'm giving you weeds expect more weeds to grow with it. They don't expect no fertilizer. They hate fertilizer. People that hate you, people that don't like you, people that talk about you, people that spit on you, they hate you to love them. Uh. The last thing they want you to do is love them. All right. The last thing a person that don't like you, you want, you, 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 you don't believe what I'm talking about? You don't know what I'm talking about? <laughs> my, wife, when my wife gets on my nerves. Sometimes she do. Now, now I, I'm, I'm happy when she gets on my nerves and I can get on her her back. I like that. But what I hate when I'm getting when she getting on my nerves, she said, "Baby, you know you're the sweetest thing. I love you so much." I said, "Lord, have mercy." When she just let, won't she just feed my get on nerve moment? But she when she loves me in that place. <laughs> It makes me matter. <laughs> and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this, and this. I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna hold this all like open. She loving me, she said, baby. You know, I ain't even thinking about that. You know not what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> you know not how much I love you. And now here she is, and she really showing me love. And my mother Mary Lee. And then she got the nerve. And then she got the nerve. Not to say, do you want some food? Do you want some hot grits? Not die. 
Do you know what happens to a willow? Y'all ever roll down a turnpike and you see these leaves, look like leaves on the top of the water? Yeah. Those were nothing but willows that grew roots in nothing but water. It can do nothing but live because it's always in a place where it thrives and, it, and it's never thirsty. And, and when, I'm, when, I, when I'm thriving in the spirit, I'm, I'm never thirsty because I don't fulfill the, the cup, the fuck, the stupidness of the flesh because flesh, I'm living in the peace of God. I don't fulfill the agony of fussing. Cussing. I'm like a willow. And every time, oh my God, this is so good. And every time God allows you to uh, come to come to me and, and, and want to fuss with me and, and fight with me, every time I don't, I don't fuss or fight, God gives me a root growing up under the willow on top of the water. And then and then and then what happens is you end up where with more roots under that you cannot see than the willow on the, on, the, on, the, on the top of the water. And now, I mean, when I got more roots under the water than, 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 than that's bigger than the, than, than, than the willow on top of the water, that means I'm rooted in peace. Okay. All right, all right. Yeah. All but, right. But, but, but when I when they first threw me in the water, I was nothing but a leaf. All right. But I couldn't die because I'm in, I'm in a place of peace. But when somebody tried to take me out of that place of peace, I said, no, I'm okay. Even though I don't have a root right now, I know roots grow in peace. Okay. I know the roots. If I want to be rooted in God, I got I to gotta stay in this place of peace. peace. And every time you come with I, and every time you come to cuss me out, and I don't cuss you right, God will give me another root. All right now. I'm going to grow in roots in God right now. Yes. All right. I, gotta, I gotta get you before you get that first root. Amen. Yeah. That's all right. Because uh, once you get get a root of God, root. you no longer believe in the root, baby. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'm that. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Look, you don't have a root of God. The root lady can tell you what you're rooted in, and you'll believe it. Yeah. I love my wife said she's been saying it for years, but it's really hit me now. It's not what they call you, it's what you answer to that decides right. to determine who you are. Yes. It's not what they call you, it's what you answer to. Yes. Yeah. You're right, huh? That determines. So, so evidently, when you call me, if you tell me to step on the line and your mama drink wine, my mama don't drink wine, but I will whoop you by telling me that she does. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I'm not sure. But I can't be sure about one thing. I can't be sure about Daryl's um, relationship with God. I can't be sure about elect lady's relationship with God. I can't be sure about your relationship with God. But, but, but the one thing that I'm supposed to be sure is about yep. my intimate place yes. with the Lord. And when I step into that intimate place, I find, I'll find something that, 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 that no, nobody, that, that, that lady sitting right there, um, I feel stronger of y'all watch this. There was a time I felt lesser about her when she was with me. But the longer we, we grow and begin to live more in peace than we are, oh, we do have moments. Y'all gotta understand, so we got so many roots in God, we pluck one out right now, don't you matter. <laughs> so every now and then I pluck one of her roots, but she'll pluck one of mine. Hello, somebody. But I told the you, I feel better about her now. Amen. When I'm not with her. All right. Than I do when I'm with her. Why? Because I got as much confidence in her relationship with God as I do mine. I praise the Lord. And it is demonstrated by the peace that she tries to display when I try to undo her. Because she said there's nothing about you. That is important enough to make me forget about God even for a moment. That's all right. That's There's all nothing right. about you. That's all right. That's all right. To unroot me with God even for a moment. Read to it, Pastor. Some will proudly claim I belong to the Lord. Some will proudly claim. Huh? They talk that we, I told y'all this morning, we talk that good church stuff in church. 
We, 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 you know how you find out who you really are to God? Outside. When you help somebody and you ain't got no arguments. All right. That's right. That's when you find out who you are to God. When you when you when you are willing to understand that there are some places that need your title that most people with your title would be ashamed to go. Uh -huh. There's people under the tree over there that need needs a bishop to stop by, a pastor to stop by. You got people in your neighborhood that that that, that, that your your new neighbor they they were just surprised to see you come over and just greet them and welcome them and say if you, anything I could ever do for you. It was all right for the regular neighbors to do it, but when they heard that a pastor had did it, there are places that 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 we 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 God wants us to take our titles, but we we feel like they should. Well, I'm the pastor; they should come to me. Uh -huh. I'm the bishop; they want something from me; they should come to me. God say, "You ain't God. You ain't the one to call people. They have to follow you to me." He said, "Follow you are you are to be you are to lead them. You are to tell them to follow." If I told Jesus to tell them to follow them to me, who are you? Uh -huh. And Jesus took his title to the graveyard with the demons. Amen. Jesus took his title to the people, that, the man that the most hated man in that era, the tax collector. Jesus took his title and went in his house. And those who thought they were with God. If only he knew who he was. If only Pastor Livingston and Pastor BJ from, from Zion Temple knew who Bishop was. I'm glad they're not concerned about knowing me, but knowing God. And I want you to be concerned about knowing God. A lot of when Pastor say, no longer do we come to church. We come to God. Because I only make God part of me. Right. When 
he's made me all of him. I'm out of balance. That's why I wrestle with life. Because I'm not all in God. I'm, 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 I'm partly in God and partly in my life. I'm out of balance. Read past Others will say, I am a descendant of Jacob. Others will say, uh, you know, I like that right there. I'm a descendant of Jacob. It, I, I hear people all the time say, I'm Joseph. I'm David. I'm a, I'm a man of the God's own heart. But don't nobody say I'm Jesus because they don't want that. Oh, I'm going to say it, son. I, they, they don't want that. Jesus took, Jesus took that. That, that, that little kind of woman. The mother, before she was the mother, Mary used to put on people. There <laughs> was no baptism for people. Don't nobody say they want to be like Jesus because Jesus took that. Yeah, it wasn't no woman. Yeah, woman. <laughs> they whooped that. And y'all scared of getting that whooped. <laughs> but I tell you like this. Please whoop me. Please beat me. Please try to kill me. The Bible says those who belong to me are slaughtered all day long. The Bible says those who belong to me are killed all day long. In other words, the words that they say are to, are to make you think that you're dead. Come on, somebody, because you don't know who you belong to. If you don't even know who you belong to, you know there's no death in you. Amen. He said you're slaughtered all day long. You're talked about all day long. Yeah, you're murdered all day long. Jesus. But I am, I, I am alive because I saw Christ live on the other side of y'all spitting on him. I saw Christ live on the other side of y'all beating him. I saw Christ live on the other side of y'all talking about him. I And the thing that he told me that gives me all the confidence in the world, Pastor, Jesus said that the Father, come on somebody, is with me. He shall be with you. So when he put you in that deep sleep and he pulled you out and you end up without a body, all right. now you're going to either enter a body called hell or Heaven. I know so about that. And how can I go where I have not practiced All right. to go? I tell a man if you hit three free throws out of five, you get into heaven. If you've never touched a basketball, do you really think he's going to make three out of five? Huh? But if he practiced shooting a basketball, Unless he shoots like Shaquille O'Neal from the free throw line, <laughs> he's going to make three out of five all day long because he practiced coming on Monday. He practiced coming on Thursday. He practiced coming on Sunday. So now when he was without a body, he knew who had a body of immortality waiting on him. A body of eternal waiting on him. Read for me, Pastor. Let's get out of here. Some will write the Lord's name on their hands. Some will persecute him. Right. When you when you persecute me, you're right. driving a nail in the hands of Jesus Christ. Yep. When you persecute my sister, you're driving a nail in the other hand, in his other hand. Some of y'all will write his right suffering on him. Some of y'all will, will forget that he died for the sins of those who don't know him. Because now that I know him, I know I am, I am, watch this. I cannot know Jesus, hear this, and be a son. Now I'm in, I'm, 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 now I'm eating Romans 8 and 28. When I know Jesus, I am now all purpose. So y'all know you got, you got dust cleanser, you got Windex, you got, you got toilet cleaner, and then you got Marvin's Robinson. All purpose. Come on, somebody. <laughs> then you got uh, Daryl Holloway, all purpose. Then you got Mother Mary Lee, all purpose. You got you got one that can do all things because they've been made all purposeful by a God that's concerned about purpose and not person. Amen. Hello, somebody. Somebody. Read, read to me, Pastor. And will take the name of Israel as their own. 
and will act like they real. They act like they believe in Jesus. They, 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 they're living for an Oscar or an Academy Award. They're not living for God. Because when I become real about the things of God, I don't act like I love you. I show you love when you ain't showing me love. That's real love. Is you real in the loving things of God? So now what I, I said, all I have to say this. Read, Pastor. Let me know when you get to the end. That's Read. That's, That's it? it? Yes. I said all this to say this. I might be a hormone. Uh -huh. I might be an alcoholic. I might be a drug addict. I might be a liar. And I might have been some of those things, and I could still be some of those things. You might be some of those things, and you could still be some of those things. But whatever you are, I want you to walk in the assurance that you still are his, baby. That's Amen. All right. That's whatever right. you are, he knew it before you came here. You are his. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Don't you worry. I said all that to say this. I am still his. Amen. You know how the kid is? I like when Eddie Murphy say the ice cream truck come up the road. <laughs> and he say, I got some ice cream. I got some ice cream. I got the ice cream. I got the ice cream. I got the ice cream. <laughs> Talk about me. Spit on me. Please do. Because that tell me you, 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 I'm just like Jesus. Hey, man, please do. That tell me I'm just like you. And then, what's going, what I'm going to do? When I get my ice cream, I'm going to say, we got some ice cream. We got some ice cream. And because of what you have done, I'm trying to share my ice cream with you. But you, you have talked about me so bad, you're scared to eat. We got some ice cream. We got some ice cream. I come to tell you, I am still God. And when I see you feeling like God is not with you, I come to tell you, we got God. We got God. We got God. But you looking at me on the outside, not even realizing I'm bringing you what's most important, what God put on the inside of me. A love that the outside don't want you to see. A peace that the outside don't want you to see. Amen. We got God. See somebody in trouble? Run up and just, they're going to think you crazy. Don't worry, baby. We got God. We got God. Give them God. Amen. Amen. But in order to give it to him, you got to have it for your That's self. Right. And in order to know that I got it for myself, I got to go to God and not the church. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. I gotta go to God to give God. That's why people won't come to church behind y'all because y'all try to get them church instead of God. God. Oh my God. Not, 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 not. <laughs> I called my cousin down. I said, Dad, come to church, come to church, come to church, come to church. The other day he came to see me. I said, Your money ain't no good. I need, I, need you to, I need you to come see God. And look where he at today. But long as y'all trying to get him to church, long as him church. He said, all right, Marty, all right, Marty, all right. But when I get, they can't turn God down. No, turn down God. That's all right now. That's no sin. And he don't, and he don't even know. He been resting, but he got a peace sign and he can, he can, he can say, Mama, it's okay now. Because I know one thing. If I don't know nothing else, I know you got God. Hello, somebody. Yeah. It's all right now. There's no doubt in my heart. You know, you know, you know. You know, mother, mother, you, 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 you ain't worried because you know your mama, your son, and, and, and your uncle, and, and, and they got who? God. Amen. When I ain't got God, I don't know those who have gone to glory got who? God. Stop it, stop it, Bishop, stop it, stop it. People say when you preach like that, you just manipulate. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giving you a share of things. Amen. That no matter what, I am still his. Amen. Because I lived through something I thought I couldn't live through. Because of him. Hello, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. Because of him, 
I lived through something I thought I couldn't live through, which tells me I am God. I'm His. Everybody blessed today. We got some ice cream, we got some ice cream, we got the 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 we got the